Dean, um, another pre-season for you. How have you found it so far? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, <clears throat> always challenging, always hard, um, especially this week with the weather and uh, how hot it's been. It's, it's, it's been a little bit more difficult, but it's um, as to be expected this time of year. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's been good. Some cracking facilities you've gone to as well. I mean, it must give you a lot of, you know, a lot of ideas to 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 give the chairman when he uh, starts putting, you know, a few more plans down when it comes to that training ground at the bowl. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Um, it's been a bit unfortunate, really, sort of my time here at MK. The sort of training ground's always been talked about, but never actually come around. Um, but to be here with the pitches and um, all the support facilities that they have is. Um, is amazing really and um, it just shows what can be done. Um, I think it's, this is an extreme level but I think it's exciting too and if you could replicate a little bit of this um, for the training ground it'd be, it'd be great. How's everything gone then? Um, you know obviously fitness is, is now beginning to build up, the games are, are starting to come a bit thicker and a bit faster and you know it's, it's all starting to ramp up now towards a bit the start of the season isn't it? Yeah so I think once the games start um, you generally over the, the worst part of your running and it's sort of more into into your football and the tactical stuff so it's progressing you can feel it progressing I think the quality of teams you're playing sort of ramps up and um, you know, the crowd's back next week and um, and then the Carling Cup after it's sort of it's sort of moving forward until we get to that sort of first game of the season so it's um, it's been really good I think everyone's it's been a pretty good camp so far I think we've been Relatively good with injuries. Um, the young lads that have come up from the U team have done really well. Um, the boys that we signed have sort of settled in nicely, and the ones that are here have, have, have done well and progressed. So I think it's been a it's been a really positive uh, few weeks. I feel like we say it every summer, but there's been a massive turnover of, of players again. You know, loads of people out, loads of new faces in. Um, does it feel like a new MK Dons from the one that started last summer? Yeah, there's, there's no one left. It's um, <laughs> me and Laurie, I think it's about it. It's, uh, yeah, it, it, it does. Um, it does. It's got a different feel to it. Um, a lot of sort of 21, 22 sort of age group sort of thing. And um, so it's, it's got that sort of youthful feel to it. So um, it's um, it, it's definitely been a big turnaround. But it's, um, it's good and the new players have come in and bought into it and sort of understand what we do and... Uh, and you know, all quite intelligent players. So when we've been on the training pitch, they've sort of picking up quite quickly and um and they're shown in the games and they've settled in settled in reasonably well. Russ has often said, you know, when he when he talks about the new signings that they they have seen MK Dons and saw the way you played last season and, and were desperate to be a part of it. Does that does that make you feel good as well, knowing that, that there's an awful lot of players out there who are desperate to come and play for a Dons? Yeah, it's it's nice that People respect the way you play or, or want to be involved in what you do because of how it feels to play against you or you know, to watch you. So, I mean, that's 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 really good. It's you know, it's a sign, obviously, that we're doing something right. But we want to add to that sort of winning games and and being successful. I think uh, you know we've established a style now, and you know, now is just a case of perfecting it and getting better at it so that you know we, we can achieve some success. That must be the goal then, not just to improve on, on 13th place last season, but to, to really make a push for, for something, you know, really exciting and, and maybe even promotion next season. Yeah, I think, you know, like I say, we're probably the dark horses in, in, a, in a way. I wouldn't put ourselves out there with, you know, the summer's been crazy with with uh, Wigan and Sunderland and Ipswich, you know, they're spending no more amounts of money. And I think it's probably be the toughest league one for for 10, 15 years, I think, and it's, it's all sort of crushed up a little bit and, uh, you know, you've got some big teams coming up, some big teams have come down and three or four big ones that haven't managed to get out yet. So, um, it's going to be a really tough, really tough league this year, but we, um, we're confident in what we do and, uh, and we believe in ourselves and, you know, we'll be giving it, you know, everything that we've got to, to make something happen. This close to the start of the season, though, you guys must just be desperate for it all to all to kick off now. Yeah, I think uh, you know, pre-season is never a favourite thing for most for most players, and so you know you look forward to the uh, first game, and getting in that rhythm of uh, of playing, and I think this year will be extra special with sort of the fans coming back. It almost feels like a new 
a new game almost in terms of it's going to be a whole different set of uh, things to deal with and um, it'd, be, it'd be really exciting for a lot of the boys that haven't actually played with crowds and stuff so it's it's probably one of the most anticipated starts to a season I think I can remember of uh, actually looking forward to, to that first game. Do you think that's going to be something that is going to take a little while to get used to again or is it just going to be like as soon as you walk out for that warm-up you'll just be back to normal again? It, it felt last year even if it was only 2000 it, it did feel you know the warm-up you're like oh wow like it's a bit of a noise and then the game starts and then you just go you know, back into the swing of things. Um, I think the only difference for some players is they'd never experienced it at all um, and so it will be a um, it will be a learning curve and especially the pressure that comes from fans sometimes, especially when things aren't going well and, you know, you're trying to do something and it's the fans aren't really appreciating what you're trying to do or they want something done differently. It's, it's a different type of pressure. So it's, um, it will be good for the players um, and I'm sure they'd all cope with it, but it's, um, it's something they're going to have to deal with as well. Nice one. Cheers, Dean. No problem. Dean, uh, obviously last season you transitioned into more of a centre-back sort of role, flourished there, named club's player of the season. This time around, I think he's been quite, quite happy and settled in that position and just raring to go now. Yeah, I think um, I think it was a case for for a lot of us last season that we was all, like a back three was a, a new new one for all of us. And so we um, there was a lot to learn and... Um, a really different way of playing. Um, I think this this time around, obviously, you know, myself and and people, even sort of Harry to an extent, people that are playing in like a central role, even though it's a centre half, it's it's a completely different role to what you play at other clubs or other managers. So, um, luckily, a lot of us had experience in doing it last year, and um, just allowed us to sort of progress um, what we do a couple of steps on from last year. We'd have to sort of relearn. Um, a lot of stuff so it's, it's helped in terms of progressing us a bit quicker and sort of enable us to focus on, on other areas but I think you know, we're all feeling a lot more comfortable in in those roles now having having had like a year to to play them.